Hi, I'm Nancy Opal. I am currently starring at the West Side Theater in Curvy Widow, written by Bobby Goldman and Drew Brody. It's a story about a woman who finds herself widowed in the middle of her life. Well, let's hope it's the middle of my life. This is a little bit about um, the great moments and the foibles of dating in midlife. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now um, for the next little bit is talk about uh, my career, um, which I could talk about all night, but I'll try to keep it brief, um, and uh, just give you some highlights and lowlights of what I've been doing. Oh my gosh, I love this show so much. It should have run for a million years. The thing that's probably funniest that happened to me during this time, I was a dead person in the show, and um, I kept saying to them during our previews, listen, when I, when I let the couple go and I go off you know, to heaven, I need to fly, you guys. I really need to fly. First night I do it, they hoist me up into the wings. I'm up there. I start to come zzz out, and I feel myself start to go like this. I turn completely upside down while singing. By the way, there's only 22 seconds left in the show at this point. They had to stop the show. 22 seconds left. They <laughs> down, put the old lady on the ground. We stop and then uh, we continue to do the curtain call. I mean, I could say that it didn't matter that I got a Tony nomination for that, but it did. So <laughs> anyway, I loved that show so much. I think the hardest thing in that show for me was not the singing, it was the giant 50 pound rubber boots that I wore. Maybe I should start wearing those around, I might lose a little weight. Oh man, have I got a story for Fiddler. Oh. There was a, um, a trap door. Um, Grandma Zeitel came out of it. But you couldn't see it whether it was when it was open because there were leaves and fabric over it. Unfortunately, they forgot to close the trap door. So I fell into the basement during Mutlin Zeitel's wedding. I hit a scissor lift and I hit a little step unit and blah, 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 and I ended up on the floor. And so I got kind of injured, some stitches. <laughs> and I had a broken bone. And, but you know what, I say that's walking away. You know, when you fall that far, that's walking away. I don't know whether you're aware, but Memphis had these gigantic columns and things that moved on tracks and everything. And I swear to you, this is how I learned it. They said, walk here above this track so you don't get killed. Everybody thinks that when you go on for the first time, you've had lots of practice and everything like that. To be honest with you, singing was the least of my worries. I just kept hoping that I would not be squished by something. <laughs> Evita was my first Broadway show, and I can thank Hal Prince for that, because I was a kid. I was just out of school, I was just out of Juilliard. I had seven auditions. Seven. You know, I read in an audition book that, you know, you should wear the same thing at callback so they remember, you know, who you are. And I had borrowed this suit from my roommate because it made me look older, I thought. The seventh time I went in and sang, Don't Cry For Me, Argentina, Hal jumps onto the stage and he says, how old are you, darling? And I said, 22. And he said, that's what I thought. Okay, great job turned around and started to walk off the stage and then he turned back and he said I bet you're glad that you don't have to put that suit on again. <laughs> that was an incredible experience. Um, I actually, it was like the one experience in my life that I was going to get fired. <laughs> Arthur Lawrence was sort of mad at the strippers for a little while. I was Mazeppa. You know, and he wasn't mad because I couldn't play the horn. I did, I did brilliantly with my trumpet. That was one day we all got called on the carpet and uh, he was like, what's wrong with you people? <laughs> I go, you know what? You thought we were good in our auditions because, you know, we, we sort of went with our instincts. And once we started rehearsal, uh, we sort of felt like you didn't like our instincts. So we just didn't know what to do anymore. And interestingly, I thought that was going to be the end of me. And uh, he just looked and he said, well, I was wrong. Let's start over. 
So I guess when you get to a certain age, you just go, might as well go for it. <laughs> if this is it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say my piece. It is like the easiest job I've ever had. For one thing, the dressing room is about a step from the stage, and all she does is go on and say stuff like, you know, oy vey, Carol, you shouldn't be a composer. It was really fun. Sunday in the Park was a really big learning experience for me because I learned that you have to work hard and still not be too serious. By the time we got to Broadway and we were in, we were in um, previews, um, you know, we knew the show had to be shorter because there were people stomping out, you know, before the show was over in the second act. But the main thing I learned was, you know, you have to learn not to cry about musical theater. 